Now, first of all, let's uh, we want to identify the container ID. This is the container ID we have. And first of all, let's stop the container using the container IDs. I'm going to copy this container ID and I'm going to go with Docker stop okay our container has stopped if we go with docker psa we can see the status is exited it's not uh, running at the moment and after that uh, we can have a we can remove these uh, containers as well so we can use docker rm docker rm and we are going to paste the uh, container id this will remove the container and if we go again with psa you can see the container have been removed container has been removed and we will do the same for the uh, next uh, container as well yep and there's no containers running and we'll also remove the image as well for example let's have a look at the available images we have one image called mongo uh, to remove the image let's go with docker rmi and uh, let's go with this one called mongo or else we can go with mongo uh, id as well so docker images there's no any images at the moment so these are the basic steps basic commands that we are able we are, we are going to use when using docker and also there's other uh, use cases like where we have to in in this tutorial we created a single container using a single image and there are other user case use cases where we have to use multiple images inside a container and expose multiple ports uh, in the container so in the next tutorial uh, let's have a look on those kind of uh, use cases as well and if you need anything any kind of tutorials in the future just drop a comment and uh, let's work on those uh, tutorials as well so that's it for this guys uh, that's it for this tutorial guys and hope Hope you learned something out of it and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and show some love and let's meet with another tutorial like this. Have a nice day guys.